Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the rooms. And all right, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 8, and today it's finally time for DBT to actually go into the Easter Cup, because yes, DBT has not played it once. Now, this cup has been available for I don't know how many days already, but I just hadn't played it, and now I'm going to do it with the limited field that I have. I'll explain a little bit why and all of that. But after that, I'm also going to be playing some multiplayer, because man, I really haven't played much, and I need to rank up a little bit. So, yeah. Now, before we go into it, you know what to do. If you, if you enjoy my content, hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel because we are continuing to make the channel grow. So, yes, do it for DBT. But all right, let's start this up. So, as I mentioned, the Easter Cup has... I, I keep saying Easter. I want to say Eastern, but it's Easter. Anyway, the Cup has been available for several days already. And in fact, the rewards are pretty all right. Um, we have the usual with a bunch of parts and whatnot, but there's five direct upgrades of Class C, and at the 5% mark, there's five more for Class S. Now, granted, this is not like it's the best rewards out there, but I think this should be fun to do. Now, I did check the cars that were available to play with, and I decided that I'm going to do with the Aston Martin Valkyrie, but I do believe that all of these cars are free try. I'm not 100% sure or if they're upgraded, but for example, um, the MC20 is a car that I don't even think I own. And if I own, I have it at stock. But over here, it's a pro rank. So yeah, I'm going to say that all of these are free tries. So there you go. So yeah, I'm going to be using the Aston Martin Valkyrie simply because I really like this car. And I don't know, maybe it'll do all right. So let me activate some boosters and start this up. I don't know why I want to say that not too long ago, we got another TLE in this same track. So this feels like a bit of a repeat, but hey, it's fine. Let's see what DBT can do in his very first try. All right, right out of the gate, triple tap get ahead of everybody but watch out because the knife on this thing this car oh man that was a terrible micro drift that was not a micro drift that was a macro drift but anyway um this car is it's fantastic with the with the way that it drives and whatnot but it, it is weak on the nitro side so gotta be a little bit careful with that so maybe this is not necessarily the best car to to bring into this race but hey what do i know you know that i just like playing with cars that i like and i actually do like this car quite a bit I wish that we had the Valkyrie AMR, if you haven't seen it, it's a crazy looking car, it's another version of this car, but more racing like, it's crazy, but alright, we have this one and it does look pretty cool, though it has that Lambo engine sound, which, you know, it's not that I dislike, but I've heard it so much that I would prefer if this had a different sound, oh well, it's fine, that's just nitpicking, which is what I do, so that's fine, alright, so I went for the more standard route in this one, because um, you know that there's a couple of speed tricks that you can do here and there that I kind of know how to do sometimes. But let's see where this takes me. With 52, 980. Um, why don't you let me know in the why don't you let me know in the comments what you think my first try percentage is? Uh, write it in the comments and submit it. And I'm gonna say that this probably is seven percent, eight percent, seven percent, seven percent. Not cheating, guys. You cannot edit your comment. I want to see a comment that was posted and not edited. All right, so. Let's see if I was... What did I say? 7%? That is my guess. Where am I? Where am I? I am in... 6%? I was pretty close. Pretty close to my guess. All right. So, if not that, it's just that I'm not super comfortable. The Twat Tower is not great. The Maserati never used it. Nevera is very heavy. No, I think I will continue trying with the Aston Martin Valkyrie. I'll try to do the first curb a little better. And... I don't know, see if I'm brave enough to try some spit trickery or, or what. So, let's see what DBT can do in his second attempt. I'm gonna shut up and try to focus. What just happened? Oh my god! What was that? Oh, bull... Alright, we don't need to finish watching this. Well, since this lap is already ruined, might as well try the little trick that I don't know if I should try because I can rarely pull it off. So first here, that little corner that I just took, there's a way for you to get some extra airspeed by just barely touching the empty space. I don't know if you know what I mean, but anyway. So you can prop here, then take this jump. Yeah, that is, that's it. But honestly, I tend to mess that, that barrel roll so often that that's why I'm not super comfortable trying it normally but all right i'm just gonna retry this and that's gonna be my last point of fuel because by the way you may notice that i don't have extra fuel this time and that is because um i think i mentioned this in another video but game of this time did not give us the content creators um the the free the pre the premium for free for whatever you know what i'm saying right for the racing pass so i don't got the extra fuel so well okay i'm gonna shut up and hopefully this time i don't mess it up right at the very start No, 
that's all right. And I'm gonna go perfect nitro here, just because again I'm afraid with the nitro duration on this thing. I don't know that. Going triple tap would have been a great idea. Oh, did I just do it? No, I failed it. Oh man. But I think you see what I was going for, right? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. This is it. Oh, can I? I messed up! I messed up! Ah, oh, man. See why I don't like doing that one? It's so often that I mess that up. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, this is not gonna be a better result, is it? Let's see. 53. I was 52, wasn't I? Yeah, I think this went worse. I think. I'm not sure. Oh, man. See, that's why I normally, what I like to do is my very first attempt to be, yeah, no, that was worse. Um, my very first attempt to be the cleanest that I can do without any fancy trickery, so that it's the baseline. And then from there onwards, then try to improve it. But obviously this time it didn't work, simply because, well, I messed up the second race. I don't really know what happened on the second race. I completely messed up my drift and that was terrible. All right, well. 6%, I mean, you can tell that it's not extremely difficult to get to the 5%, but yeah, DBT and skill issues, you know that this happens. All right, so how about it? we try some multiplayer? Believe it or not, it's been, what, like five days since the season began, and I'm only in silver. Um, I really haven't played too much, you can see I've done 10 races, honestly. I really kind of have not forgotten on ab or abandoned this, but you know, and might as well, this is already selected, so I'm going to drive this thing. Um, but yeah, I really have not really played this very much. So as you can tell, this video is a little bit different than my usual video where I do a protest of this or just focus on one thing. Nah, I'm doing a bunch of things just for the sake of chilling over here. Um, simply because, well, I don't know, today is, it's, it's, it's a, by the day, well, when I'm recording and releasing this video, it's a holiday over here. So it's really a chill day. So I'm taking a chill. It's not a protest. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just going to chill and play a little bit. I don't know. You're going to, you're going to have to let me know in the comments if you like this type of more chill content of just of just doing whatever no, to be honest i think this is more content for a, a stream than for a video but hey here we are I, oh come on dude i guess at the end of the day we're just trying out and see if this sticks i don't know maybe you just like the more relaxed approach of this video i don't know whatever um hopefully maybe right before this video ends i'm gonna try if my fuel refuels I might try, oh no, that was way too high, way too high. I'm gonna go over here. No, maybe I could have made it over there. Ah, man. Uh, I might just retry another um, on the Easter. Wait a second. Didn't they say that they were going to replace, did I, am I misremembering? Didn't they say that they were gonna replace the nitro bottles with Easter eggs or something? I don't think I saw that. Am I missing something? Was I not paying attention? I mean, that's likely, but. I really don't think I saw anything too special over there. Huh. Maybe it's just some of the nitro bottles that get replaced in Asphalt 8 Plus, the iOS version, the Apple Store version. No, what's it called? Apple Arcade version of the game. Um, when you're playing Quick Race, sometimes some of the nitro bottles get, re get replaced by credit pickups. So I'm thinking, and they change. It's not it's not every single bottle, and it's not always the same bottle. So I'm thinking maybe it's something like that over here. I have no idea. All right, so I got defeated by two Resbani Beasts and an Asterion, but I did beat uh, ER9, Asterion, Asterion, uh, for GT, Asterion, and another look. Man, is this car spam? All right, I I'm feeling a little dirty. dirty. Let me change car. You know that I don't like using spammed cars. So if the Lotus uh, Emergency Room 9 is a spam, I'd rather not use it. And that's actually another reason why I don't use very often the uh, Asterion, precisely because I know it's a very good car in this bracket, but it's also very used. And again, as I normally say, it's not, a, I'm not saying like, oh, you should stop using it. But you know, I'd rather, in, in, I guess in that sense, I'm a bit of a contrarian. I like going against the grain. And if this car is being overused, I'm gonna bring something else, even if it's not a fantastic car, like, my beautiful big wing caddy, let's go, bye bye. I mean, to be fair, this car does have some amazing nitro, but the drift on this thing, it's horrendous. And, oh my God, I'm so sorry, buddy. I wasn't trying to knock you down, I promise. I'm just minding my own business. The drift on this thing is amazing, but uh, the drift on this thing isn't amazing. It's actually bad. 
Um, but overall, I really like this car because it's the it's the one Cadillac that I like how it really like how it looks because of the big wing and a, you know racing car and whatnot. But yes, let's go big wing caddy. So yeah, can you tell that there's not th this is a video a freeform video if you will? I didn't have any plan of what car I was gonna be driving or anything I'm like. Nah, let's just get into it. Sometimes again, why don't you let me know? Okay, you know what? Let's make that the key phrase of the day. Um, if you want to get the hard pin, you know how this whole thing works. Ah! Then leave me in the comments, DBT. I like or I don't like your freeform videos. And you know, first person gets a pin, the hard all of that stuff. And be honest about it. Maybe you really don't like this. You like a more focused video. Like, no, let's uh, protest this car. Let's focus exclusively on the TLE. I don't know. Uh, maybe you like that more than this nonsense. So if you if you don't like this, that's fine. Let me know in, over there in the comments. But if you do like it, then also let me know. Whether or not you like this type of content, hit the like button. That it's that it's mandatory. All right, do it. <laughs> all right, first place, blah, blah. And all right, what did I beat? Oh, and in this race there was no neither any um, Lotus ER9 nor Asterius, but okay, defeated a Husaria and a 4GT. The other two were unboosted. Yeah, I mean it's fine. I, I just like driving this car whenever I can, right? Yeah. Okay, and in this race someone brought an what is it called? The Mitsubishi Lancer X Anniversary Edition, something like that. Whatever. Um, which is a, I, I would dare to say it's probably the king of this particular bracket, and yet I don't see it too often. Well, maybe because I don't play this bracket too often, so maybe that's why. So you'll have to let me know if you've seen this car. Because, I mean, it's likely that you're gonna find this car from time to time, right? Maybe every, every race you might find one or two, well, depending also on the amount of players and whatnot. But what I generally mean by spam is when you find a car a bunch of times in the same race. That's what I mean spam, like... Like, oh, it's a race with eight players, four of them are this car. Kind of like we saw with the Asterion and the Lotus ER9 in the first race that we just we did earlier. So that is what I consider more to be a spam card as opposed to a card that may be strong, but it's rare. Like, for example, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS Euro of the Robert Edition, talk about ridiculous names. Um, that thing is very strong in the, in the Class A bracket, and yet it's not as... Oh, God! See, I did the thing again with the bread. What just happened? What is... What am I doing? I think I'm pressing two keys at the same time or something. Ah, and I went on the wrong route. Well, this is how DBT loses a race by getting distracted by because he's messing up his button presses. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the, the 911 GT3 RS Year of the Rabbit Edition. What a name. It's a very strong car, and yet it's not a spam car. It is a rare car, so I don't mind that. It's not that I hate the power of a car. I hate the power of a car when it's a spam. That's when I hate it. AKA a certain certain card that I'm not even gonna mention over here, but okay, whatever. I still got a first place in spite of all those mess ups. Oh, did I just rank up? Let's go, Baba! Uh, two Husarius, Lotus ER9, there's a Mitsubishi, which didn't do very well. Uh, Asterion and FX 599XX. Okay, cool. Ranked up. Let's go, Baba! Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh huh, my reward, sure. And I've ranked up. Lovely, lovely stuff. All right. So, I have a bit of a plan. Hold on. Okay, well, it's not really a plan, but I just thought that I am curious to see. I decided to bring the 911 GT3 RS because I like this car. It's kind of okay. It's, I think it's pretty strong. Um, but I'm really curious to see if now that there's so many uh, Formula E Gen 2, you know, going around because, you know, a lot of people, 5% of the player base was able to unlock it, um, which is a lot of people, to be completely honest. Um, I'm really curious to see if it's going to be... If I'm gonna find a lot of them suddenly in a, over here and the bracket is suddenly populated. Ooh, wait a second. There it is. Oh no, that's an egoista. Interesting. And a Pirin Farina. All right, let's wait for more players. And as I said, that almost instantly the race started with the same four players. But, all right, so at least the, very, the, the thing that I, I can say right now is that I'm surprised that I found the match to begin with, you know? It's normally very difficult. What's going on with my textures? It's very difficult normally to find matches in this bracket. In fact, I made a video not too long ago um, testing... I don't remember which car I tested in this bracket, but there were not enough players and I I ended up needing to summon the, the rumors to play because otherwise there was just nobody to play with. And this is normally what happens in this bracket when I'm when I'm trying to play it. And I hate it because there's a bunch of cars that I like to drive in this, in this bracket. There's a bunch of Lambos over here. 
But yeah, normally it's very empty, so that is definitely not fantastic. So, hey, at least this time we got a match. And I didn't have to wait for a ridiculous long amount of time. So I don't know, maybe the fact that there's more Formula E Gen 2 uh, floating around in the bracket means that there's going to be more people playing it. Um, it's a very high price to get for, you know, to, to have a... A uh, sudden influx of the king of the bracket. It's a high price to pay, but one that I'm willing to pay just to have this bracket going on again. Because, man, again, normally it's not that I care too much about getting... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, Jesus, what just happened? Uh, it's not that I care about getting first places or anything. Uh, I just want to play in the bracket, and you know. Now, apparently, there's players. I don't know. I don't know. I still did get a first place, so yay. Ego is happening for Arena and Formula E. All right, cool. Let's see if I can find another match relatively quickly. All right, here we go. So the, the AI version of the car just finished a lap. But now, oh, now I'm finding people. Yeah, I guess there's not a lot of people playing and they probably were on a race. They just finished it. We got Gangster Vegas Ramona, Pinin Farina, F40, and a Josario GT, and no Formula E. Hmm. Well, maybe it has to do with the fact that Game Love, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is just an odd moment and I'm finding matches, but... Um, I did say that, and I said this quite a while ago, but when Game Love was exclusively giving Class D cars in the car hunts, I did say that I thought that that was not great because the Class D races are already super populated. What people need is cars, even if they're not fantastic, but they need free cars in different brackets so that they play other brackets. And you know that Game Love has been giving a pretty decent chunk of Class, uh, well, rather 1590 cars or the bracket of 1590. So I want to, oh, come on. I want to believe that maybe that is what makes a difference in the player base. Again, obviously it has to do with whether or not people want to um, upgrade cars in the bracket. So that's that's another big point to consider, but still, um, I don't know. I think I think it's a good idea for Game Love to continue giving cars of different brackets. And I did see some people asking at some point like, hey, when are they gonna start giving class A cars? I really don't think that they're gonna be doing that very often. Because at the end of the day, what people want the most are the fastest cars being Class S. And I think the second thing they would want the most is the second fastest cars being Class A. So, yeah, I don't see Game of giving a lot of Class A cars for free, directly for free. But hey, who knows? Maybe they will, and that would be good for a bunch of people. So, then again, again, because there's the whole thing with the... Oh, boy. Because there's a the whole thing with the... Um... With the tokens now being free to play, that you can get them easily. Well, yeah, easily. In multiplayer and in gauntlet. I mean, a lot of cars are technically now free. You just gotta grind for them. But still, you know what I'm saying when I say the free cars, specifically on the car hunts. All right. This race went terrible because someone knocked me down. But hey, there's matches over here. I like being able to play in this bracket. I really do. Let's do one more. Oh, would you look at that six players plus myself. That's Formula E. Yep, that's Formula E. Yep. And that's another Formula E? No, that's an Egoista. Okay. So like I said, I, I do imagine that at some point this, the Formula E, once people finish upgrading it, is going to be incredibly used over here. And it's going to be spam. But I'm going to make... I'm, I'm going to do... I'm going to... What's the word? Uh, my resolution is going to be to, to not hate the car for being spam. Because like I said, maybe this is a high price, but the price I'm willing to pay to get this this bracket going again because man seriously this i would dare to say that this is probably the emptiest of the brackets in the entire game along with 1500 but even then 1500 i would find more often than 1590 so yeah i'm okay with this bracket suddenly being flooded with formula e gen 2s at least i'll be able to play with my other cars and every time that i'll beat a formula e gen even if i if i finish in fifth but I beat three Formula E, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's that's pretty good. So, yeah, that's how I sleep at night, all right? Don't judge me. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I legit, I hope that we see more activity in this bracket simply because ah, so many cars that I like over here. The Lambos, this Porsche, there's the Arenera Husaria GT that I also like. Uh, there's a bunch of cars that I like in this bracket, and I normally don't have too much of an opportunity to use other than in Friday from the player events. Um, so, yeah. I mean, Friday or Saturday is Friday from the play. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay. Is this going to be a W? Let's go. So long as I don't mess it up, this should absolutely be a W. I mean, to be fair, I'm driving a pretty strong car. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. And besides, I'm trying to rank up. Not desperately, but, you know, any help is some help. 
that's actually when i'm trying to rank up that's when you're gonna see me driving the the stronger cars just to rank up for the events but yeah all right formula e egoista penfarina formula e ferrari 40 and an smr v12 speedster i don't even know what that is but okay do i have some tickets now i don't know let's have a look Ooh, let's go we have just enough for one more race so i'm gonna shut up again focus and hope that i can make it into five percent this time all right well let's see let's see I'm still going for perfect nitro here. Because I really think if I went triple tap, I'm not sure it would last long enough. Oh, but with... Okay, shut up, DBT. Focus. No, I missed the jump again. Ah, Jesus Christ. See? I really need to practice that jump. All right. I, I think I did improve my time, though. I got, what, like 52, 600 or so? Uh, yep. Look at that. 52, 601. Yeah, I think that's better than my best previous time. Is that enough for 5%? I don't think so, but let's check anyway. And... 3%! Let's go! No, no! Wow. That was quite the climb I did right there. I thought maybe I would land into 5%. I didn't think it was going to put me straight up into 3%. Woo! All right, see? It's all a matter of focus and DBT shut up. Shutting up. By the way, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit the like button, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.